It moved me, yeah. and I wrote a poem, which I'm not going to recite here because it's too embarrassing. Um, it, it, it's Surely not, not. It's not, not a very good poem. No. Not a very good poem at all. At that time, I was reading um, the poets of negritude yes. who have been influenced by surrealism. Mm. I was reading people like Pablo Neruda, mm. poet from Chile. And I think those influences sort of impinged upon... What, this the poem I wrote, Night of you're the You're Head. wetting our appetite for it now. But I'm not <laughs> going to read that. No, 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 I'm not going to recite that. But, um, and then later on, when, when I began to write in Jamaican, mm. um, English or Jamaican Creole or nation language or whatever you want to mm. call it, I mentioned David Olawale in a poem called Time Come. Time Come, yes. Yeah, yeah which, you'll, which you'll read for us in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have told me years after that it was prophetic, but when I was writing it, I didn't think I was prophesying anything. I thought I was stating the obvious. Time come. It soon come. It soon come. Look out, look out, look out. Fruit soon ripe for take we bite. Strength soon come for we fling we might. It soon come. It soon come. Look out, look out, look out. We feel bad. We look sad. We smoke weed. And if your eyes sharp, read the violence now we eye. We go and smash the sky with we bad, bad blood. Look out, look out, look out. It soon come. It soon come. Is the shadow walking behind you? His eye stand up right before you. Look out. But it's too late now. I did warn you. When you fling me in a prison, I did warn you. When you kill Olo Wally, I did warn you. When you beat Joshua Francis, I did warn you. When you pick upon the Panthers, I did warn you. When you jack me up against the wall, I didn't ball, but I did warn you. Now you see fire burning in my eye. You smell badness upon my breath. Feel violence, violence bursting out of me. Look out. It's too late now. I did warn you. I hope you're happy, Max. Thank you, Linton. Top-notch poet and so much more. <laughs> <laughs> Why is David Olawale a significant story for us today? David Olawale's significance is that he was a victim of police racism. The, the continuing question of debts at the hands of the police, not just black debts in custody, but debts in custody full stop, but black debts in custody in particular. And it's important also because of the culture of impunity that exist within the police force, and that the, the fact that they don't seem to be ac accountable to anybody, and that racism is alive and well in the, in, the, in the British police force. What do we learn from this story, and how can we stop it ever happening again? What we learn is that, firstly, we must never forget these things. We have to organize and we still, unfortunately, have to organize and mobilize to get justice. 